Greetings, saints. We would like to fellowship with you a brief word on the burden of prayer and the specific prayer that is needed in these historic times. Saints, uh, we know from looking at the church history and also from looking at the experiences of the saints that the Lord definitely uses the world events. He uses the situations around us to speak to us, to speak to his people. And in these days, it is clear with this global pandemic that we are all facing, that uh, certainly we as the Lord's children have to look to him. We have to look to him concerning what is his will, what is his will for us uh, at, at this time. The Lord is the one on the throne. He is the leader and the savior, it tells us in Acts. He works all things for, for his economy. And we know that he is the heavenly high priest that is interceding for all his children. He's interceding for us. He has been interceding for us. So what should our response as the church be in this time? Certainly the first response uh, should be our prayer. We need, to, we need to join with him. We need to match him in his intercession. And, and in these days, it is our prayer that all the saints uh, in the church here in New York and all over the globe, even all the Lord's children, would rise up to pray to match the Lord's need at this time. We have been hearing reports and, and reading some things that, that not only among the saints uh, in the churches and the Lord's recovery, that there is an increased attendance in the different prayer meetings. Of course, most of the uh, uh, prayer meetings are all through some kind of electronic means. But even among the Lord's people, the, that more, many more are attending church gatherings and especially the prayer meetings. How encouraging this is. The Lord needs our prayer. And, and we, we, need to, we need to rise up to have a kind of persevering spirit of prayer to match him, to match what he wants to do at this time, and also to give him a way that the church could be a vessel for him to accomplish what he desires in this age.